Computer science videos here today to show you guys and ask the question in today's video Should you buy the MacBook Air 11 inch in 2020? Let's get into the video This is the case that I keep the MacBook Air 11 inch in Very thin was ahead of its time when they released this incredible small yet so powerful MacBook Air computer, I was lucky enough to buy this the year they removed it. So they removed it in late 2016. I purchased this in April 2016. Once I brought this into my life, it was an incredible life changer. Open up the MacBook Air, and now we can see how fast it just booted from standby to what we have now, this machine was incredible when it came out. It's still relevant until this day today. Specifications, 128 gigabytes of SSD, RAM, four gigs. What more do we need? Free up some memory. A fast portable machine, an incredible computer, the thinnest, of its time, ahead of the time when they released the MacBook Air in 2008. After a while, they released the MacBook Air 11 inch, 13 to 11. Users then have the choice to buy this, 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 15, 13, 11. What more can we ask for? In terms of the body itself, the ports we are getting a main display port, Thunderbolt port, USB 3 on the one side, USB 3 on the other side, the MagSafe charger, which they no longer have today, and the headphone jack, and audio in, audio out, and what more can I say? However, if you are looking to purchase this machine today, you may have to try different websites as Apple are no longer manufacturing these machines. Once they go, they go forever. You may have to try Amazon, eBay. Certified refurbished is the closest you will get to a new machine. So we can, for the time being, shut down That's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next video tutorial, science technology. Thanks for now.